guys. You know, I reviewed a lot of collab channels in my day. Celebs in training, names and lights, a cool collab bro, <laughs> even collab at sea. I've done a lot. Well, guess what? I'm back. What's up, guys? You know what? I have missed making these review videos. And you know what? It's about time that someone tried to beat these collabers at their own game. Ever since celebs in training, Ricky has had time to build his strength. I am facing an opponent who is buffer than me. This week's challenge is simple. This week on O2L, we are talking about and reenacting some experiences we've had. Let's do this. Outdo the collabers. Do challenges. Ah! Oh, they're using all the toilet paper again. Oh, uh, bro, you recording? Hey, pretty much all of them are living there. Why not me too? You know, Connor has some of the most interesting experiences like this one. Looked up to the front of the class, put my papers down, trying to be all confident. And I'm pretty sure within the first sentence, my voice cracked so loudly that they could hear it in the classroom next to us. Hello, everyone. My name is Connor Fred. You know what, yo, I can actually relate to that. In fact, I've got a very similar story. So when I was like 13, right, my voice was cracking for like 20 minutes straight and I could not say the word brown. Brown, ah! So along with that interesting experience, he also had one where he ran into a no parking lane. Sign. Sign. Connor running into that sign reminds me of a time when I was actually mad at my sister and her friends. I was eavesdropping and I heard something I really didn't like. Got mad, called them holes, and put my hat over my eyes. Uh, well, you'll see the rest. No! Guys, I'm going home! Enjoy! Help! Yes, that's fine! Then I'm going home! I put my hat over my eyes. Not good if you're trying to make a dramatic exit. You know, the really lucky thing about Connor is he's gotten to travel so much. So jealous. So awesome. All in all, totally awesome guy. So now let's snap over to Ricky. Oh wow, a new school. I'm so excited. Oh look, fresh meat. Welcome to high school, punk. What do you think you're looking at, you little dweeb? Do you want me to give you a knuckle sandwich? Oh. Oh. So many scary people. Whoa, you definitely got me beat there. Yo, honestly, I'm kind of glad that I never actually went to a normal school. I probably would have turned out weird. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not weird. My senior year of high school, I made my first YouTube video. It was a music video to the song Move Along. So I put it on Facebook, and the whole school saw it and made fun of me. I can relate to that one. See, my first music video was to a Kesha song, and I wanted some views on it, so I shared it with my Facebook friends. I'll show you the first couple seconds. If you're one of us, then roll with us, cause we make the and that's enough for now. You know, think about all the people that were laughing at Ricky back then, and <laughs> look at Ricky now. Making paper. You know, Ricky always got your back. I got the samurai sword. But who's laughing now, Ricky? You are. You are. That's who. Ricky's life has been filled with some pretty awesome experiences, like a food fight. Seriously, I have never been in a food fight. I've always wanted to be in one. Then again, if you're the target, it probably is a little more embarrassing. It's a game changer. However, I can it was actually relate to this one. <laughs> Except mine actually might fun? be worse. So I was with a girl and I was being tickled. <laughs> Stop! <clears throat> Maybe it was you. My girlfriend was actually just really blown away by this. However, I still am different from Ricky. I have never had a crazy injury like he's had. Which strangely is okay by me. Ricky is so awesome. I've known that guy too long to not think he was one of the coolest YouTubers I've ever known. Now over to Sam. Hey Sam. I can explain. This one was a little awkward. I really don't know how I could compete with this and I don't have time to go buy a better bra, so... I honestly hope that none of these things actually ever happened, especially with him being in a... in a, in a bra with his friend. All in all, this was a really creative video, but it was just kind of scaring me a little bit. Mostly because it looks like a girl. No homo, I guess. What's up, o 2 well? If you guys did not know, I have moved in this humble abode. Oh, and what a surprise, he moved in with Connor and Ricky. Let's get to his experience. Hey. <laughs> you 
know, my first kiss actually wasn't that awkward. It was kind of just the person I was with that was kind of like, Ugh. Second is, I shit my pants. And then I remember walking like this all the way to my grandma's car. And then in the car, I sat like this the whole way home. Drive faster, Grandma! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. JC is such a boss. I know that was probably really embarrassing, but that is just awesome. What an experience. Now to drive her. Okay, so one of the first things I did was me and my friends, we bought these Walmart skateboards and we, <laughs> we spray painted them like all crappy and we made them look all cool. And we sold him in a corner like a lemonade stand and no one bought them. I admire his courage. When I was growing up, I was hardly courageous enough to just go and sell stuff. There was one time that I tried. Why isn't anyone stopping? This is stupid. I'm gonna go now. Only instead of lemonade or other things like that, it was actually just like a bunch of McDonald's toys that I had accumulated and I wanted to get rid of. I thought I was gonna make bank. I was like, I'm gonna sell this one for five, this one for five. I planned on going and buying like Hubba Bubba bubblegum with it. But other than that, his experiences are really not even that bad. Good for you, man. That's awesome. Who are careful in this life tend to live a little longer. Now it is Kia! I've had some pretty weird experiences. Now pretty much all throughout school, I was like a really bad kid. I would get bad grades. I would disrupt the whole class. Like literally, it would say, disrupting the class on every single report card. He really has an interesting life. And it all started with Huffing Marker. He has had some of the most injuring experiences that I've ever heard of. I kind of feel like a wimp now. The most I probably ever got hurt as far as embarrassing goes was when I was in martial arts class and one of the other students punched me in the throat. This wasn't as much painful as it was as much like a punch to the ego. I didn't expect him to actually be able to hit me, but when he did, he hurt my ego. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Also, subscribe to Our Second Life if you haven't already. You probably already commented all of the awkward and interesting things that have happened to you, but if you would like, feel free to comment on my video as well, and I will give you guys shoutouts and features in my next review. Thank you guys once again. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Goodbye.